The Media Society and the Arts Club hosted their first event in the studio, causing quite a stir by having a screening of the film Instrument, a documentary of the band Fugazi, and a Q&A session with one of the band's founders, Guy Pichotto. I sat down with Guy to discuss the event and what it meant to students on campus. We got a uh, email uh, a few months back at the Discord Records from Jeremy with the Media Arts Group uh, asking him to show the film and have someone come up with it and introduce the film. And, uh, Jim, the director, was busy this weekend and they, they asked if I could come up and I was free the night. Tonight I'm actually driving up in this direction so it actually worked out perfectly and I was happy to come in and introduce the film. I mean, uh, because the group's not touring, it's really nice when we do get the occasional screenings of the film so people can learn a bit about the band and we'd like to be there if we can to be able to like discuss the film with people if they're interested. So I uh, just really appreciated that so many people came out. I was really happy. It was great. Jeremy Ross Smith and Esteban Silva, two of the organizers of the event, explained the significance of having someone as influential as Guy kick off the events hosted by their club. The event that we held with uh, Guy Pachotto from Fugazi um, definitely exemplifies MSA because we looked at Fugazi as a source of like both uh, the, the, the band, the concept of a band in the 90s as like in following a DIY ethic is very interesting to a lot of musicians inside of our community and the on the campus and it's exemplified as a concept for MSA because we look at bands and we look at subcultures and we look at like ideas that people create to better um, better put the arts in the community. A lot, a lot of issues yeah that were brought up and like just in the way that like the management that like Fugazi put together and like the way that they ran things and did things during the 90s is something that's like really inspirational to it and like really interesting in like kind of the bigger impact that it had and that's kind of like what this I guess like club or like major would be about it'd be about kind of like n not looking over these like significances and like subcultures and like kind of like taking a, taking a moment to look at it and like seeing the importance of it and what it means like to the overall scope of the way that like kind of society has developed. There's always going to be music or ideas or things that are sort of marginalized and the only way to get them out there is for people to do the work. So I think it's just like, it's not, I think it's less a philosophy than it's just a tool that is a reality. It's like you kind of, at a certain point, if you want to make, you know, if you want to make something happen, you oftentimes have to, uh, have to work it yourself. And then in doing that, I think it, you start to realize all the benefits of it. You don't feel compromised by people speaking in your name. You don't feel compromised by people being put in situations that you don't want to be in. Um, you can kind of control the context of what you're doing. MSA major Hilary Maltz talks about what the new club means to her and fellow students. Yeah, I'd really like to be involved um, with the club. I think it's really great to have a support system for your major, especially because this is such a, a unique major. It's not very traditional in that it's very interdisciplinary. You know, people ask you what a media society in the arts, you know, they ask you, what is that? You know, I mean, it, I mean, even though it's pretty straightforward, you know, what, what it entails, um, people don't really all, always right off the bat know how it works. So I think it's important to have a club for this type of major because it is so unique. You have a support system. The club sure seems to be setting off on the right foot, and purchase students appear to be looking forward to plenty of events in the future. For The Brick, I'm Bobby Timms.